Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a pair of small dog booties. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to be making a pair of dog booties and we're gonna do it just one solid color. So today I'm using Burnett Premium. It is a four ply worsted weight yarn. It's 100% acrylic. And the color I'm using is hot pink. You're also going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to start by crossing your yarn and we are going to chain two. Okay, so going into that first chain we made, we're going to take our tail and catch it. We're going to take our working yarn, pull through, and make a single crochet. So we're going to do six single crochets into that one space. So we've made one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now there's our starting single crochet. We're gonna slip stitch into that to form a circle. And then we're gonna chain up one. <coughs> now we are going to single crochet two stitches in each stitch around to get a total of 12, okay? So we go into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through both loops. That's a single crochet. Okay, so we want 12. So we're doing multiples of two. So we're at six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We are going to slip stitch into that first one. Now, if we did our tail correctly, see how we have this little hole here? If we did our tail correctly, that little hole should cinch right up. So I'm going to give it a tug, and sure enough, it cinched it right up. If it doesn't, though, don't panic. No panicking. All you have to do is use that thread to stitch the hole up, okay, using the tail. Okay, now we're going to chain up two, and we are going to do half double crochets all the way around. So to do a half double crochet, yarn over the hook, into the stitch, pull through, yarn over the hook, go through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. So we're gonna do 12 of these and the chain two does not count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we are not going to slip stitch into that stitch. We are going to just continue around. So we're skipping the chain two that we have right here. 
and we're just yarn over and we're just doing another half double crochet into that first stitch. So we're just going to continue in a spiral. No more joins at this point. So we're going to do this for six rows. So I want to show you the difference of your rows. So this was your six and it's just like a ridge, right? And this was your 12. So this is your first row. You see how it's not just a ridge, it's got more to it. This is your first row of half double crochets. We want six rows. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, how do I count a row if I don't have a place where I've joined? Well, you're just gonna keep going round and round until you have six rows on all the sides, okay? So six rows on all the sides. So here's what I mean. See here, I've got my ridge, my ridge, and then my first row and my second row of the half double crochet. But on this side, I only have one row of half double crochet. So I just have to do a few more stitches and then I'll have two rows of half double crochet all the way around. So let's look. On ridge, ridge, first row, second row. Turn it around, ridge, ridge, first row, second row. So there we go. So do this until you have six and then meet me back. Okay, so I've got ridge, ridge, one, two, three, four, five, six rows. And then I turn it, I've got ridge, ridge, one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So what I'm gonna do now is my next stitch, I'm gonna do a slip stitch, okay? Now we're gonna chain up three. This chain three is gonna count as a double crochet, okay? And then we're gonna chain one more. We're gonna skip a stitch, and then we're gonna do a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next. Okay. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. Okay. So we're going to chain one. And now counting up, okay, so see that it looks like there's two stitches, but one of those was your slip stitch, which doesn't count, okay? So we're gonna count up our chain, which we had three and then one, so three plus one. Go into the third, okay? And we're gonna slip stitch into that one. Okay, this is where we're gonna weave our tie through. I'm gonna take this opportunity to let you know that if you look in the description, you will see a link to the written pattern. So if you want, if you really like this pattern and you wanna have a hard copy of it, you can go get it in my Etsy store. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain up two, one, two, in the same spot we chained up two, we're doing a half double crochet, okay? Oops. Okay, so a half double. In the space, we're doing a half double crochet. In the double crochet, we're doing a half double crochet. In the space, and we're gonna do this all the way around until we have 12 stitches, and again, we are not counting the chain two, okay? So you wanna make sure you have 12 stitches, and we're gonna do this all the way around, okay? And then, We are not slip stitching again. We're gonna start spiraling. So we're not gonna go into our chain two. We're gonna yarn over 
and just do a half double crochet into that very next stitch. So we're spiraling again. We're not gonna have joins. Okay. And if you have good success with joins or you wanna add joins, you go right ahead. But I prefer to work in spiral when I'm doing something like this. So feel free to, to use your creativity and do what you want. And remember, just like anything that's made for your precious pets, please use them only with supervision. You don't want your little dog to chew these uh, dog booties and then ingest the fibers and you, you possibly have a vet trip, okay? You should never let your dog whether it's a material dog booty or toy or anything like that, you should never let them ingest material other than food and water. Okay, so another thing I should remind you is hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment on what kind of videos you'd like to see for your pets. So far, I do cat toys, and I do dog sweaters, dog booties. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing three rows. I got carried away, and I just did it. So um, we've got one, two, three on this side, and we've got one, two, three on that side. So once again, we're just going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. We're going to do a bit of a tail. Pull your tail through, and then you're going to hide your threads. Now remember, you want these to have a bit of give so you can get it on your puppy's paws, no problem. Okay, so when you're weaving in your threads, don't weave it in and pull it tight, okay? Now, to make the tie, we're just going to chain 60. So one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Cut a bit of a tail. Pull your tail through to make a knot. You want the both ends and knots nice and tight. And then I usually just leave about a half an inch of yarn. Half an inch of yarn. And then pretending I had sewn in my threads already, you just weave it through back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? And then, yeah, tie it on once you have it on your little puppies. And there you go. You have a dog booty. And if you want, you don't want it to come undone while you're walking, you can double knot the bow. Whatever the case may be. If you want to have a longer tie, by all means, make a longer tie. This is what I do. I don't want it dragging and so the dog steps on it so I don't make it too, too long. But there you go. Now make three more to match. <laughs> so I hope you liked the video. Hit the like and subscribe. Like I said, in the description, there will be a link for the written pattern. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that's about it. 
Have a great day. Be inspired and give your puppy an extra hug for me. By the way, these also sell really well at craft sales. People are willing to spend all kinds of money on babies and their pets. So usually these are some of my best sellers. And these are also for dogs, like small dogs. This would be teacup dogs. This would be min pins. This, I use these size booties on my Yorkie Shih Tzu. She's only five pounds. She's got itty bitty paws. Um, if you want to make a bigger size, like a little bit wider, um, you could use a size up crochet hook. If it, you want it quite a bit bigger, then watch for my next size of dog booty video, which I am hoping to do fairly soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.